Hi, super good to have you this week. I've decided to do an updated morning and evening skincare routine. And there's an important update because it's July, which means it is blistering hot here in Houston, Texas. It also means a lot of summer travel, time outside, time in the sun, and the normal protocols sometimes that we do in different times of the year may not work so well for us during these hot summer months or extreme cold months. For instance, you know that I am a big fan and a user of retinoids and glycolic acids, and I've worked my way up to very strong percentages of those. It's not to say that I don't use them, but I've definitely had to scale back, especially with travel in the summer summer, a beach vacation, all of that. My skin just can't handle it and it gets a little bit irritated. I am still a firm believer in the power of acids. There are different kinds of acids for exfoliating, a product called niacinamide, which really helps with discoloration and fine lines. And I'm also really switching my mindset over to clean beauty. You have asked a lot about it. You have inquired about some good product choices in that area, and I am so thankful and grateful to say that there are so many companies that are offering pure, clean beauty without a lot of junk and chemicals. So what I'm going to show you today are some products that I have been using now over the past couple of months and seeing really great results. Super fan of what I'm putting on my skin. I feel good about it. So the routine has changed, and I'm going to walk you through how I start. Now, this may come as a little bit of a surprise, maybe, maybe not. I do not wash my face in the morning. I don't believe in washing your face after you've fully cleaned the night before and you've put on all of your products and allow that to soak in for a good seven, eight, nine, maybe if you're lucky, 10 hours. Um, I don't believe in washing all of that off. I think the natural oil on the face that produces overnight is good for you. So my start in the morning is actually with my first product. And the company that I'm using for that is Paula's choice. Why am I loving them so much? Well, let me just quickly read what they don't include in their products. Just take a, take a little look below. No dioxane, abrasive particles, alcohol, aluminum powder, essential oils, formaldehyde, fragrant plant extracts, nanoparticles, phthalates, sodium lauryl sulfate, synthetic dyes, synthetic fragrance, talc, and toluene. You know, it's funny. I used to tell my son when he would want to buy all this junk food in the center aisles of the grocery store, I'd say, if you can pronounce every name in the ingredient list, you can have that product. <laughs> there, are, there are some eight syllable words in those products. And so needless to say, it would stay on the store shelf. So happy to tell you, none of that stuff is in anything that I'm going to feature here. So the first one is Paula's Choice Exfoliate. It's their number one product worldwide. It's got 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This product can be applied either with your fingertips or a cotton pad. What's great about it is that it cleans and it minimizes pores. It's actually a great treatment if you get breakouts, but it also helps to get rid of the built up layers of skin. It's a wonderful exfoliator. The acid is gentle and not harsh. You use it on your face and your neck. A lot of you have been asking me, what are you doing on your neck? Well, I am carrying all of these products south. And in fact, you can keep going on your chest as well. You wanna have the same effect and to help fade spots, the area here on the chest is where all of those little freckles and sunspots like to show up. So don't be afraid to use any of your acid products all the way down on your chest. This has beta hydroxy in it and it's really good too for enlarged pores. And that's something that I've been noticing on me right here in the chin area. I'm finding the pores are getting bigger, kind of that orange peel look. And that's really what led me to Paula's Choice in the first place and what led me to the second product that goes on top of this one. Niacinamide 20% treatment. It's a vitamin B3 serum that tightens and minimizes the look of sagging pores and rough bumps caused by age or sun damage. Can I just say that that one spoke to me on multiple levels? It is a serum and it's great because it does help fade blotchy spots as well because of that niacinamide at 20%. So you put a couple of drops and it spreads very, very well. I start on my chin, work my way up. 
One little drop for the forehead. And then, of course, keep going down. I have been using this product, I would say, for about six weeks now. And I have to tell you, I have noticed a big difference in the pore size on my chin especially. It has, um, it has definitely done and lived up to its billing. So I'm super excited to be able to feature a product that does what it says it's going to do. That 20% niacinamide, I'm sure, is a major player in all of that. But um, again, you can use it all over your face and neck. I use it on my chest as well. Um, it's been a fantastic, fantastic treatment for me. Now we're going to move on to hydration and sun protection and a different company. For that, it's MD Solar Sciences. A lot of you asked me when I was on vacation about the sunscreen that I was using, and many said, is it reef safe? Or I don't think the product you're using is reef safe. I'm happy to tell you that theirs is not only reef safe, but it is sustainable, dermatologist developed, cruelty-free, and vegan. So this one is a wonderful combination that I'm going to start with. This is the Daily Antioxidant Moisture SPF 30. It has vitamin C and E, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. So again, the niacinamide continues, but it also helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and it gives you that wonderful sun protection, spreads very, very smoothly and evenly. It's super, super lightweight. I am incredibly picky about the types of sunscreen that I use underneath my makeup. Some of them either are too white, chalky, thick, shiny, whatever, and they don't do well underneath makeup. So I need something that has a little bit more of a thin type of a texture and feel and is easily absorbed into the skin before makeup. And this one definitely does all that. So per usual, face, neck, and chest. This part gets hit really hard. You know, we forget when we're driving in the car but with the sun visor, sometimes it can catch the sun and block it from our eyes, but that sun just comes beating down right here on the top of our chest. So don't forget to carry your sunscreen up here on your collarbones, your neck area, and all of that. And I'm gonna finish up with an eye product. This one by MD Restore Eye Gel. It takes care of dark circles and puffiness, as well as fine lines and wrinkles. I do get puffiness in the morning. I think it's because I'm such a big sleeper. And so when you're lying down horizontally for an extended period of time, fluid can build up underneath the eye area. Or, you know, if you have sushi the night before, all that sodium can really make the bags show. Um, so this helps. And it's got um, collagen peptides in there. Works really, really well underneath makeup. Easily absorbs, but it almost has the feel of a primer. It's got kind of that silky smooth feeling. So there we go. This, this is morning and everything is covered. There's one more thing. Oh my gosh. How do I forget the body? It's a body moisturizer. And again, I'm a, I'm a stickler for body moisturizers. They can't be too light. They can't be too thick. I want them to really work on the skin's elasticity and make my skin look firmer because as you know, when we get older, sometimes we get loose skin, you know, around here on the inner arm or the elbows. And so I do ask a lot of my moisturizer, but I want it to make those areas look better too. And guess what? I found one. We're back to Paula's choice. It is the 5% niacinamide body serum for patchy, uneven skin tone. I'm just gonna roll up my sleeve here. Give it a nice pump. Lightweight, smooth, silky, but ultra, ultra hydrating. You use it from the neck down and it makes your skin so soft and it helps with wrinkling. And of course, the niacinamide is helping with freckles and all of that. I adore how my skin feels with this cream and it lasts all day. I mean, if you're wearing a sundress and you've got your arms and your legs exposed, they're going to look so stinking pretty <laughs> with this body lotion. I can't tell you the last time I was so, so happy with a body lotion. So I'm really glad that I gave it a try because it just, um, it's the bomb and it softens. It takes care of roughness. It's just, it's, it's perfect, it's great. For me, it's, it's the perfect consistency. Okay, now we're going to move on to nighttime. 
So the nighttime routine is a little bit more pared down than the morning one. First thing obviously is getting all the makeup off of the face. I'm still using La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP+. I love this. Wonderful, creamy, but yet it'll turn into a foam. One full pump will completely get rid of a face full of makeup. If you wear eyelash extensions, it's safe for those. It um, doesn't have oil in it, so it won't remove any extensions. Removes all makeup, makes the skin feel clean, makes it feel hydrated, non-drying, great. And this thing, it's so huge, it's lasted forever. How many ounces is in this thing? 13.52 um, fluid ounces. That's a lot, a lot of bang for the buck. So anyway, let's get the makeup off. And then from there we go back into our skincare. So the Paula's Choice Exfoliate with the BHA that I mentioned off the bat, this is something that you can use twice a day, morning and night. So again, the same thing. I will take my cotton pad and after my face is washed, I will put on the acid. salicylic acid, we're back to evening skin tone, minimizing pores, all of that. So my pore mission has been a morning and a night fight. A morning and a night fight, but I'm winning, I'm winning. Okay, so after I've done that, you can do any type of a face moisturizer, face oil, even CeraVe if you like it, whatever. I continue on with a little bit more of the acid, but I love a face oil. And a product that you've seen me feature here quite a bit is this one by Sunday Riley. It's called Luna. This is a retinoid-based oil that helps to reduce the size of pores as well. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles as well as surface redness. So I take just a few pumps. It's a little bluish in color, don't be freaked out. And I apply that all over face, neck, and chest. It has a wonderful smell. I love the smell. And I just, I adore face oils at night. You know, as I've gotten older, my skin has gotten drier. Let it soak in a little bit before your face hits the pillow or else your pillow is gonna get all the oil you know, put on your favorite show that you're binge watching, let your product soak in. Last but not least, I gotta have lip balm at night and I'm still using Lansino, the nipple cream. <laughs> anyway, if you've been following me for a while, you know this is my go-to. There is nothing more emollient for the lips than what works for the nips. Just a little, a little dab will do you right. By the way, this stuff is great. If you've got dry cuticles, wherever you have super dry skin, sometimes if you get irritated skin right under the nose, you can hit it there. Amazing, amazing. And I, I find this stuff stays on my mouth all night long. So there we go. An updated morning and night skincare routine. You're probably asking, wait a second, what about the tretinoin that you use, which is the uh, prescription form of Retin-A? or the glycolic acid. I will still put those in there intermittently, but I listen to my skin. That is one thing my dermatologist has taught me. And I'll provide a link to a video that we did a couple of months ago on retinol 101. It's basically an introduction to retinol, retinoids, acids, what they do, how they work. But she, most importantly, listen to your skin. You don't want your skin angry, irritated, peeling too much, overly dry. That's not what this is about. This is about pacing, and it's also about kind of staying on the path. And I have found over the years, my skin has gotten better and better and better because I found the path and I chose to stay on it, and I just make modifications as I go by listening to my skin. So that's it, you know, if, if we listen to our bodies, it tells us all that we need to know. I am so excited to be able to feature some new products here that are clean, healthy. Uh, it's something you have been asking for. And on top of all of that, boy, do they work. I have links to everything for you in the description portion below. If you're watching this video on your computer, simply in the description underneath it says show more. 
click that and the whole thing will expand. If you're watching on your cell phone or your tablet, to the right, there's a little down arrow. Click that, everything will expand. So you'll be able to see all the information of what I have and where you can find it if you're looking for it. Comment section is always where I'm looking to get ideas from you. This was one of them, so there you go. I do pay attention and when these videos publish every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central Standard, I'm generally in the comment section for a good hour or so to be able to answer any questions, interact with you. So I would really love to be able to connect with you there if um, you're available. I do check in periodically. Please let me add this. There is a scam going on um, in my comment section on a lot of videos. If you see anything by WhatsApp and it has a telephone number and it's asking you to click a link and it's offering an autograph photo or whatever, it is a scam. Please do not click any links from anybody or anything pretending to be me. There's another scam going on social media about um, a hair product featuring an image from one of my old videos connected to that hair product. I do not sell any hair product. It's a scam. They've lifted my image and they're using it to sell their product. So I just wanted to put that out there because so many of you have reached out to me. I've been trying to put that messaging out on social media and on um, YouTube to let you know, but I figured just sort of adding it at the end of the video is just a nice reminder to be aware, be vigilant, and please report these nasty people. People. you know report them it's disgusting that they can get away with this so anyway um, always like to end things on a positive note so I'm wishing you a wonderful weekend ahead um, and exploring some new skincare options to take care of you it's about self-care and it's about feeling good in your own skin go out be bold and be blessed and I look forward to seeing you next week Bye.